good morning all of you guys now today we'll continue with the dark web and then we'll go further discussion on password hacking in our yesterday's discussion we discussed different type of proxies what are the ways hackers are using proxy to hide their identity guys to hide their identity what are the ways they are going to use to hide the identity they cannot be tracked that was the main reason behind the proxy to be working guys but as we discuss already proxies are keeping logs they are having logs so they are not the correct thing what has been working nowadays is proxy older time it was anonymous nobody was able to track each other but now because proxies are keeping logs if somebody the police agencies contacts the proxy they can reveal your hackers original ip address and detail guys hackers original details can be revealed by the proxy server guys now for that reason many guys started using what proxy vpn but still proxy vpns are also been visible guys only thing is the previously with proxy governments were able to block many things but now it is with proxy vpn those restrictions can be bypassed by the hackers and they can misuse something so that was possible using this. so now only option left out currently everybody goes with what is your tor browser so this is one side of what we discussed yesterday using tor browser how somebody can browse website guys what website they can access how they are going to access it so how is going to change is identity that is what we have learned with your tor but tor has two part one is anonymous browsing the second one is very important guys we call as your dark web somebody is using tor for hosting websites all kind of illegal activities are happening on the tour guys and they are at the extent of what guys you can see here when we started here all websites are in dot onion guys you can see here dot onion they're selling uk passports you have drugs been sold hacking i mean this is a technology different different technologies which will be working here so there are technology servers are also available guns and other things have been sold here you have account to be created then it will be working not only that they offer hacking services also guys so you can see dot onion for every website you can see there are six hops in between so user doesn't know where is a buyer buyer doesn't know who is a user so six hops and three hops you cannot see here so this is why nobody is able to track somebody when you are working with the tour fbi also in between they were not able to track anything on the tour because of this particular reason because they can only see the first three hops the other three hops we don't know so which what is the ip how it works so this tour circuit is created with what six hops and it is totally anonymous this guy will see this ip addresses but he doesn't see this ip addresses so buyer doesn't know the seller seller doesn't know the buyer in that case so difficult for somebody to track now because of this some some websites are good websites also guys nowadays you can see this secure drop secure drop is mainly for the whistleblower guys many guys have some information 
they found some information they want to publish to some newspapers or news agencies they don't want to reveal the name they have the details they want to hide their identity so in that case they can use this kind of options guys so secure drop is one of the option so most of the news channels are using this for the whistleblower to submit it not only that facebook is also on dot onion guys somebody may say what is the difference what what is the use of facebook having here guys so now when you use facebook on the onion it doesn't make a sense guys facebook has put everything because when you are going to log in with your email id and password facebook is going to track with you guys so it is no sense but it is only for the option that official facebook so there are many official companies like i think uh, many newspapers many this they are hosting on facebook guys somebody say how to get the list of these websites so i told you there is no older time means uh, when you take about a normal internet how you reach any website guys you don't know the website names but how you reach them you use something called as what guys search engines directories so here i think till 3 4 years back there were no directories available but nowadays many guys are coming up with the list of the websites and they have been categorized also guys so they are coming up like you have a marketplace like you have amazon you have flipkart so there is a marketplace where all these services what i have shown you individually passport other thing those things have been sold guys so how it looks like so try to see here you search on internet for dot onion website list you'll get list of website guys so these are different different categories guys you can see here these are different different categories in which commerce this agora is the most famous onion website alpha bay black market this all websites are mainly used for what guys is like amazon and flipkart regularly they will be coming up not only that you can also see here the big list here these are some of the websites so when you see here they are categorized guys so now they have come up with the search engines also older time dot torch but it doesn't tell you all website guys some of the famous website if somebody is like we remember when we gone for camera it has a list of cameras which are available over the internet seccam.org but that doesn't mean that throughout the world all cameras are there some of the cameras somebody got it he has put a directory that kind of thing is available you can see a lot of website so this are the categories some of them has done here you can see here this are some of them is saying haste check it has to have 1 billion pages guys and this many number of database of 2000 wix type which includes dot and yen okay but nowadays it is not available because they will be coming up and down very oftenly they are be going to come up and down guys you can you can copy this and you can put in your this one whether it is working or not your links will be there sorry yes you need to copy copy your link location but you put this website in your normal browser you will not get it you need to put in your tor browser then only you will able to get this website try to access this in your normal browser not possible so here i say they also offer the services like this guys so can you see here some information to this searching something some websites where the mother informations are available they are be checking it out guys all illegal things guys are possible here you can see different different pages available so it is doing search engine search on this particular websites so it is a dangerous websites guys so you need to be very careful when you are on the tour now somebody may say why i am showing you this 
what is the motive behind of showing this there are two reasons guys the first reason is this one the latest ransomware whenever you come with the latest ransomware guys they are coming up with something called as this kind of message guys this is the latest ransomware which they are coming up with this kind of messages so they are clearly telling you what when they encrypt the data they are saying that if you want to get contact with the hacker to decrypt your data can you see these steps guys hackers the ransomware persons are giving you dot onion link guys so the person who doesn't know what is dot onion website they'll go on trying this where on a normal browser guys on a normal browser they are going to try this so they are not going to get anything if they try on the normal browser but if i try this on this one if the website is available now because this was last year somebody's ransomware i have tried to recover the data i tried to contact him so it was there but same way it is possible guys so this is the ransomware information you see whether it is opening or not we'll see here i think this is not working now but ransomware there are many ransomware are now offering this now first thing the this was the first reason you should know that why tor browser guys so we have seen this to understand that whenever you see dot onion website you need to connect like this and you need to work accordingly so they are asking you to pay the money and other thing on this kind of websites so many ransomware will have this second thing already i have told you without knowing many guys are installing tor browser on their main computers it is dangerous guys so if you are going to use it you need to use on a machine where there is no important data guys if there is any important data there is 100% chances somebody can take over your data also so you should not do it and the second reason guys the second reason of learning this is what suppose can a user in your organization can he also host a website tor website guys is it possible yes guys is it possible that somebody in your organization also host this kind of website he is a normal user but he can also host a website now for understanding this for understanding this you need to clearly find out from security point of view guys suppose a normal user or somebody say to host a website what is required guys a normal website i'm not talking about the tour website to host a normal website like uh, facebook or company website what are the things required guys yes you require one server os you require public ip static public ip domain name internet of course internet is required so server public ip server os many many things are required guys but now without any one of this guys here also public ip should be static public ip domain name you need to purchase it server os license everything now i am saying what anybody including you guys can host tour website from your computer guys it is your normal computer all the concepts have gone because they are hidden so i can host a website on any computer guys including a desktop computer windows 7 windows 10 i can host i need to only have a website and tour browser so the problem now is what is somebody hosting the website in your organization any illegal thing maybe terrorist website criminal website 
pornographic websites if somebody is hosting in your organization responsibility of security admins to make sure what any illegal activity should not happen from your premises so of course you are going to protect that from outside somebody should not attack your network that's okay but somebody should not misuse your infrastructure that is also the responsibility of what guys the cyber security expert so if somebody is using tor browser in your organization if their browsing website is up to a level okay but if they are hosting some website is a very dangerous thing guys so how you know that whether he is doing the browsing or whether he is hosting it so i'll show you a procedure how the website has been hosted inside your computer how a tor website has been hosted and when you see that it is nothing very easy to work guys so i'll show you the steps for hosting a tor website now for doing this first thing is what you require a web page so i'm going to facebook guys yeah i'm not going to create my own page here i'm going to facebook i'll say control u control u that is view source i'm going for view source right click view source you can also give here right click you have a view source information here so either control u or view source copy the whole content put it in a notepad guys i'm only showing the content see i am not going to create a web page content already content is there i am going to use it i'll save this file as index.html index.html i have saved the file you can see this file is available i'll copy it and i'll put on my vm machine i'm going to host it in my vm machine only now by default you require server os to host a website i am using windows 7 So I'm going to use one application here, which is already available, guys. Zamp application. So Zamp application will allow me to host website on a client computer, whether it is Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. The Zamp application. You can see Apache. When I click Start here, you can see port number 80 is open, guys. So my web server is ready, guys. Like. in your windows server you use what iis so here i'm going to use port number 80 with apache on my computer and now when you see this details here it is showing you clearly c colon zam guys so i need to go to that c colon zam c colon zam then sg docs this is a default location guys c colon zamp sg docs you paste the file here index.html you paste it here if any other index file is are there remove it only one file to be there so i'm saying index.html my website is ready guys try to check whether it is working local host when i type the ip address can you see my web page is working guys So now I've hosted my website on your Windows computer guys. You can use any software other things to work with it. I'm taking my one of the example to work with guys here. So I've hosted a website here. Now this website I want it to be available where on the dark web. Now to do this only one step is required guys. in your d drive i had mentioned here in your security assessment anonymizer tor hosting tor website guys so here what you need to do is you need to there is one file called as tor rc file there is a rc file available hidden services to so this two lines i need to add in one file guys tor.rc there's a file name called as tor.rc so i need to copy this and put the file 
there. So this is a file, store RC. This file you need to search on your computer. In that file, these two lines to be added, guys. I'm copying it. You can go to the browser. I'll say here, yeah, when I go here, yeah, store browser, browser, store, sorry. Can you see here, yeah, there is one file, guys, store.rc. This file, you have to open. And here, you in the last line, you'll add the details here. You'll add the details here, hidden service, and you are going to host a website. So you're putting port 80, you're giving your local IP, means this computer is acting as a web server, port 80. So this two line is to be added, guys. Once this is done, you need to create this folder, whatever folder name you are given here, this folder to be created on your drive guys i'm going to create it that's all my work is over guys so i'll go to my c drive already the folder is available guys you can see here store web everything is empty guys correct now you need to start tour browser guys start your tour browser software once you open your tour browser automatically you can see there in the folder some files got created can you see here this files got created just now you can see the date and time guys files got created and in host name when you open it this is your onion website name guys this is your onion website name which has been available here so now if i put this website here i should able to get guys my facebook page guys if everything is okay i should able to see my facebook page is opening it will be slow but it will be opening guys so try to understand what we have done guys what we have done so currently when i am accessing now instead of accessing this computer i have on my main computer also tour browser i'll try to access from that one to show you See, on my computer, I don't have a important data. So I'm going to use it from any different way, not an issue. So I'll take on the other computer, or browser, and try to access from there. So it's not working. Why? So we'll see here why it is not working here. Is my local host is working? Yeah. Then what could be the reason here? We'll see. One second. Now, okay, this is awkwardly.
see the maybe some issue but after doing this after the name is available guys it should be working it should not be a problem the link what was available using which you should able to access the facebook page guys so here i think maybe it needs to be restarted something one more time check c colon tour loopback port number okay i need to check maybe if something changed on the other side we need to check this but i think these two lines are more than enough to work with it guys the files got created we to only see that why the website was not accessible guys so already we discuss so it should come so you should able to get the website on a tour browser guys so my question here is what guys i shown you this only for one reason guys what was the reason what was the reason i have shown you this website guys the reason of showing this is what one very simple thing guys that in case the secure from hosting no no we are not going to host anything suprita we if somebody is hosting this website in your office you can go to that particular location so anybody is using tor you go to that particular tor rc file and see that this two location if these two lines are available means they are doing it and how to get what guys i have told you that the store rc file if these two lines are there means they are hosting something on the computer and here it will be the ip the ip can be of any computer guys so that ip will be there this is a location where you will able to find where the host name of your the website name of your tor browsers so i have shown you that also here that you go to that tor browser file tor web c colon tor web and then you can check the file name you can check the file name what has been available what i'll do is one more time i'll try to delete all this and try to generate maybe one more time to check whether i can get a new name close it got created again with the same name we need to see that can you see the name is different now we will see whether possible here i think something gone wrong guys we need to see last i think i think they have changed something on that side but most probably using this you should able to host your tour website is saying is not able to connect guys so we need to check is internet is available on the inside computers yes it should be at least you go the procedure that this how it is to be done so when you practice on your computer more or less you will be getting i had some issue maybe on my computer so that's why you are not getting but when you do this this is your website name and you can check whether what type of thing is handling so this you can use it for vigilance purpose guys you need to make sure how it will be done there was one case happened in uh, us there was a very famous website call as silk road this is a way this is a silk market guys you can search on internet now this silk road silk road When you search on internet for dark web guys 
this was a website it was a marketplace which was doing now this was a person guys ross william he was hosting this website this was a marketplace he was hosting in that case it will not be running you need to host normal website you know you learn mcsc so in mcsc you are hosting how to host a normal website you will able to access it so now when you take a example when you are taking a silk road guys in silk road you can see here this was a owner and you can go here and check it out this guy got caught guys only because of his mistake guys because fbi when uh, they were uh, searching for this this guy was posting many forums and other thing so he had posted using the same account this was a name he was using so when he was using this name he this name they found out on some website and using that they were able to track that person and they were able to prove the website was run is from your computer based upon the steps what i've shown you the steps i've shown you why which they were able to see that without any data center without any godaddy ip address other thing anonymously i can host any website in my organization guys so it is a dangerous thing which can be working when you're working with your tour browser guys so tour browsers are good at the same time they are the bad things also guys so our case is not to we are not going to promote tour browser but you should be aware of what are the risk and two reason because nowadays latest ransomware they give you dot onion website to pay the money so you need to be very careful how to use it and the second thing is that somebody should not host website in your organization so most of the organization block tour browser guys they don't allow to be used on there so you need to work it there is no safest search engine guys no once i have told you when i delete it and i create it it will be new but if you go on changing the any number of time you open the browser see you created the records the record once it is there that number will be fixed guys so help until as i delete it and again i create it the name will change but try to understand how suppose there is a drug peddler how customer will reach that particular person guys means there is a criminal how they are able to reach it so their name will be there so that should be fixed now once that name is available he will distribute the name to everybody so i have a url that url means dot onion url i'll circulate to everybody so only using that they will reach me if i change the name nobody can reach me in that case so hackers will lose a business so they'll make sure that name will be same until unless they found there is suspicious somebody is going to catch them they delete the particular name and recreate with another name server is same the name will be changed in that case so many uh, criminals does what they change the name to make sure what they are hidden with the original name they cannot search id proof they change it and they make sure that they start living with another name in that case the same kind of thing is happening here Yeah, so help. Yeah, you are very much safe if you are accessing everything in your this one. There is no issues. So VM is itself is a separate thing. So that's why if anything goes wrong, you need to close the VM because we are going to learn malware also. I'll show you viruses to be run on the VM. So all guys, it is hundred percent safe, not a problem at all in that case. No issues. So now, when we talk further, guys, so this was our discussion on dark web, guys. That what are the dark webs? How they work, guys? And it is impossible to track. If somebody say I can be tracked on dark web, it is because of his silly mistake, guys. Nobody can track you on dark web because it's totally anonymous, guys. So this is store, and you also have another option available called as. I2P that is Invisible Internet Project that is also equivalent to Tor but very less used guys. So now one question. Many you have I'll tell the example of current our batch only guys. Most of the persons have account on WhatsApp, but I was telling use Telegram. 
why you are not using telegram why you are using whatsapp guys what's the main reason why because of course now you are going to use telegram because you want to have a material you are going to use telegram but telegram is more secure compared to whatsapp but still everybody is using whatsapp what's the reason correct supreta all the users all your existing contacts are using what whatsapp so that's why you need to use whatsapp so same way here tor browser is widely used because of that reason because the tor websites are also available many websites are available tor compared to the most of the users are using tor that's why it is more used compared to i2t in that case guys Uh, Mr. Krishna, WhatsApp already you have remember that few months back uh, there was a Israel company that was able to monitor and track the details. Communication was been getting up on the WhatsApp. They are uh, spying on all the NGOs and political leaders. So WhatsApp hacking is possible. So that's the reason and of course when you go further you'll able to see we will also able to see some details from the whatsapp so whatsapp protocol itself was hackable means there was uh, you can search the news i think which way see anything is not a safe thing that see until less when you go through it but as i've told you the safer thing is what unknown thing guys if you use anything unknown which most of the persons are not using it of course it will be safer in firewall i'll tell you one very simple example the famous thing is more targeted compared to the non-famous thing guys that is the advantage what you are going to get so i say whatsapp hack israel pegas the company name was pegas Can you see here? This was the last year news, guys. So this was a company named Pegasus. This company was tracking Indian journalists and activists. Their WhatsApp, all details were being monitored, guys. And as it is a common thing, I've told you why Windows has been hacked more compared to Linux and iOS, guys. The simple answer. If I hack one Windows, there are many more Windows machines available. If one is not possible, I'll try to hack other thing because everybody is using Windows OS, guys. But if I hack Mac OS, the target will be limited. Linux target will be limited. So hacker target, which is widely used application. So WhatsApp is widely used compared to Telegram. I'm not saying Telegram is safe. Nothing is safe in the world. That is a summary of what you're going to learn after ethical hacking. Whether you do anything, whether it is HTTP, HTTPS, all things are hackable, guys. So I2P is let you, lesser use, guys. So this is your dark web, what was happening. And now, our focus today onwards will be shifting now. Instead of vulnerability, guys, we are going to focus on now something called as what? password based hacking the second type of hacking now till now we have completed with vulnerability based hacking if there is a vulnerability how to hack that we have seen but suppose if somebody say there is no vulnerability on my computer then what to do how you are going to hack if there is no loopholes suppose you are patching your computer perfectly then what is the option the next option is password based hacking using password i'll try to hack you in that case so now first thing which password guys we are talking about what administrative password i'm not interested in user password i'm interested in administrative password guys so any password which has privileges i'll try to hack that password and get access to your account or something so first thing guys one simple question 
what is the approach hackers are going to use guys and how you are helping how your passwords can be hacked that is a clear idea what we are going to get with this particular session today the first question guys what is a password guys i'm not asking your password i'm asking the definition of password guys what is a password of course everybody is using it the passwords but what do you mean by a password guys in simple words security code key a string of characters guys a string of characters to access your online account or your computer or your mobile phones it can be a string of characters it can be a pattern lock it can be a pin it can be your face nowadays passwords are of different types guys but older times it was only the string of characters which was been working guys so now what are the ways somebody can get password and how many passwords are there so if i take one very simple example what is the list can you tell me how many password one individual guy will have it guys how many password he will be having it for how many websites he has a password i'm talking about a normal user a normal user with minimum things for everything he require password so what are those passwords 50 i say around i am putting minimum level minimum 20 to 30 password a normal user will always have guys how the so first thing social media everybody nowadays is on social media guys so in social media you have maybe facebook twitter linkedin gmail i'm putting 5 to 10 pa five around five passwords here take a example of net banking guys around four to five passwords your bank accounts your paytm money transfer so for everything you have username password to access it okay next you also have online shopping guys four to five passwords for online shopping flipkart amazon other things nowadays you also have to order a food you require account guys so when you talk about number of accounts you have swiggy you have mobile applications for every application you need to enter your mobile number and a password guys so many location you enter username and password so online shopping is there you book a ticket book my show you have train ticket irctc uh, your flight tickets make my trip so there are different different location where you enter the password i am putting minimum you have 20 to 30 password guys now in this very important thing all your accounts are connected to what guys so you have 20 30 accounts everybody is having now one very important thing common thing your account works with what guys what will be your username guys your username will be your email address or mobile number there are two things using your mobile number and using your email address your account is created with the help of food printing guys already i have this two information with me guys you are giving your email address and mobile to everybody so using that email id and mobile number easily somebody can target you only the thing he doesn't know is what guys password he doesn't know is your password guys Now to get the password one very common mistake you are making guys what is the common mistake guys for your password same password everywhere guys all password whatever 20 30 accounts you have it you use same password everywhere so if one password is also been hacked all other passwords are is all other accounts are been hackable guys a very common mistake guys so suggestion from of course when we learn everything okay countermeasure for this is what 
you should have multiple email accounts for usage guys don't use same email id and contact number everywhere if you have seen my browser you may see that i have a list of email accounts nobody knows my original email id official email id is separate my discussion i am using one email id to communicate with my students is totally different net banking email ids are different guys so if one of the account got hack also other accounts are not been tampered in that case and when you started your ethical hacking labs guys i had already suggested you what create a separate email account and then you do the labs you are not connecting that account with your existing one wherever you require to create an account use a separate email id to work with it don't use this so now when you're going with a password what is a very common thing what somebody will do now how somebody will get your password guys that is the first thing yes guys what is the common thing why which what is the intention of the hacker he knows your email address he knows your mobile number then which password is going to try guys how will get to know the password so starting first with when you talk about the password he will do a guesswork guys well known passwords so one very simple thing he is going to try some of the password which are there over the internet common password guys he will do a one type of password attack we call it as guessing guessing is i'll try to guess some of the passwords now you can search on internet was passwords of 2019 or 2020 you can see guys the list here that is a different we'll discuss further so first thing i go to internet most common password what everybody tries to put guys these are the most common password the surveys were been conducted guys and in the survey most of the guys are using 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 q w e r t y the starting character of your keyboard guys the first line first few characters of your keyboard on the first line guys password is password nowadays they had enhanced to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 because it was only 6 8 then has come up here password as admin lovely welcome and here this is the state guys you can see here one very important thing guys is showing you so every year they release the list so last year what was the status what is the status now so this is the most common password used nowadays so compared to last year this was below now many guys are using this password so you have many more available you can search on internet there is splash data also you can see this regular surveys have been done so around 50 100 passwords are there hacker may try those password second important thing guys many guys put their mobile number as a passwords also guys now so yeah you can see here same way these all are the common passwords here the total 100 passwords will be there when you click on it you'll see those passwords also here So there is a list of hundred passwords also. So one by one you can check there. And more important thing, guys. Somebody puts mobile number as password. Then what are other passwords somebody puts in their uh, passwords, guys? What are the other passwords? Their girlfriend names, their children names, their wife names. So how that information is available? Birth date, correct, Krishna? So how they will get to know? how somebody will know that what is your birth date guys yes any idea fb of course good so one very simple thing guys food printing if you remember when we started food printing we have done what social engineering guys in social engineering is nothing but when you connected for the first time i send you a friend request a hacker only sends you a friend request you accept his friend request the moment you accept unknown person's friend request he knows everything about you facebook will send me email guys 
whenever your birthday is there you will send the message to every friends that today is your friend's birthday if i don't know the birthday also i'll get to know via facebook guys second important thing if i'm connected on the facebook what do you do guys you put your relation information also that uh, this is my wife this is my brother this is my sister so whenever somebody is using it he knows your family information also there so using that also i can get to know your wife's name your husband's names and they with the different combination they can work with so simple technology used by somebody we call it as what guess work guys guessing is one of the simple way of password hacking so many times guess work can be correct also guys so in this manner you need to make sure what how it will work i one small video but for guess work logic is required guys so already i share one video if you have gone through it it will be very easier for you to understand the password hacking guys so this was a video which i had already shared with you guys so in this this guys this guys are trying to connect to what guys a neighbor's wifi some title is going on here subtitles are there you can read that guys so they are not able to get it so now they are not able to connect to the wifi so her maid they said try xyz password Sheila one two three. Why? Because her wife name is Sheila, so she is trying to give the name Sheila one two three. She is not able to. Uh, now she tries the logic, guys. Try to see the logic, guys. He is saying that the person has an affair with somebody. Her name is X Y Z. He is located from some X Y Z location. So it can be because of that reason. The password can be this. so what i am trying to try to say is guess work only requires social she has information about everything about that person guys so that's why she was able to get the detail guys got it what i have tried to understand tell you guys that food printing social engineering she had more of the knowledge guys so based upon the knowledge she try to create a password and after that can work with it now when you're doing with the guesswork guys one very simple thing guys there is something called as in password hacking we have something called as different types of passwords are there so in password hacking the first one we have is brute force guys brute force attack brute force attack means what suppose i did the guesswork i'm not able to find the password so what i'll do i'll try all possible combination guys one combination would be correct i'm doing a guessing i'll try different different combination one combination will be correct and that would be my password one very simple thing guys when you take a older time you have a luggage or you have a briefcase nowadays when you are traveling you lock your luggage with some code it is a three digit code or four digit code guys now three digit code you have locked it now somebody stole your luggage can you open your luggage also guys yes or no he stolen the luggage now he want he is trying to open it he doesn't know the password how will you open it guys you will try different different combination guys how many combination i need to try guys see one password is correct but i don't know which password will be there so i need to try how many guys it will be thousand combination guys total thousand combination starts with all zeros So nine nine nine. If I start from all zeros to nine nine nine, thousand combination I try, 
one combination one password would be correct guys so trying of all this possible option we call it as what brute force attack guys trying of this all possible combination is called as brute force attack you are trying all of them and one of them would be the correct one in that case so if you remember in our yesterday's discussion when i hacked the router guys i was able to see the encrypted password guys so generally your ccna your routers were having two types of password one was enable password another one was enable secret password which will be used guys if both are configured enable password and enable secret which will be used in real time if you have both password secret takes privilege over your enable password guys so enable secret will always take so when you check show running on the router yesterday i have shown you on the router i was able to see everything so there will be one location where it will show me the characters here so this is a value guys so what i am going to do is what brute force means i'm trying to show you here so currently i am not having that particular option so i am using one of my hash here so suppose this kind of value you will get in your enable secret so what i am going to do now is simple thing this is only to show you what brute force mean guys we'll discuss in detail this part when we talk about individually guys so now in yesterday i was only able to view the configuration of the router i don't have a password so i cannot configure the router using that but now today i'll try to show that how i can get the password of the router guys the combination i'm using now so here now your hash this is my hash here so this hash you got it from the router guys so when i press enter here can you see here guys if i press now brute force means this can you see here different different passwords have been tried guys so this software is an example of brute force guys all possible combination currently i'm only capture i'm trying to do what guys number only number i am trying to guess here i'm assuming you know if you are using number as a password how easy it is how many character password guys minimum how many character password you should have yes how many character password you should have minimum guys eight characters now when we come to most probably tomorrow session minimum 12 and above guys eight character passwords are hackable guys i'll prove it when we discuss tomorrow session but for the time being it is there now try to understand in my password generally you use what guys complex password so now we will be discussing that is the security part mr krishna there is a security part in which we'll be talking about that how you are going to block it in that case this is not active there are different ways of password breaking this is not active i'm not doing anything on the router i am doing on my computer but it is to understand how it works we are seeing it that what does your brute force work and how it is going to happen so now my question here is if i use a normal password i have a eight character password and i am only using numbers guys i am only using numbers in my password if it is a eight character password can you see here already five characters have completed guys 
So if I wait for maybe half an hour, can I get a eight character password, guys? Very easily. So that's why to make it difficult, guys, what we do, guys? We will give what numbers also, guys. With numbers, we say alphabets. So with number and alphabet, it will become more and more difficult, guys. If you also give special characters, means not only small letters, capital letters also, guys. If I give capital letters also, so it will tie A, B, C. It will become slower. So complex passwords, special characters. So if I use everything, guys, so this has an option here. You can see here. I can include in my password what I want to get it. S is for special characters. Capital T is for capital characters here. L for no, uh, N for numbers, small characters. If I use this, it will be working. So complex password are difficult to crack compared to only alphabets in the passwords, only numbers in the passwords. They will be easier. Why, guys? Why complex passwords will be disabled, guys? S is for symbol, correct. C is for alphabet, guys. So now, why? What was the reason? So try to understand. Suppose you have eight character password, and you are only going to use numbers, guys. So how many digit, guys? How many digit, guys? So eight character password is there, and you have numbers in your password. So totally zero to nine, ten, so eight to the power of ten, guys. 8 to the power of 10 these are the number of combination i need to try guys to make it more difficult what we are doing guys now we are giving alphabets so 26 alphabets plus number 36 guys it will be difficult guys but still it is easy to hack guys maybe this combination is taking some time this will take a little bit more time, but it is possible. To make it more difficult, guys, I will add now what? Capital and small character, guys. So 52, 26 plus 26 plus 10. That is 62, guys. And to make it more complicated, I'll add special characters also around 10. So nowadays, your password, this is a number of characters. And this is different, different letters, what you can be using in your password, guys, including your special characters, guys. So when you use it, so this, if I have a eight character password and this, this many number of combination, I need to try to crack the password. So that's why we say it will become difficult when you use a complex password. If you use a simple password, easy to crack it. So I'll show you one very simple example here. This was my password, guys. If I enter like this, maybe within one or two hours, I'll get my password. But instead of that, I know some characters of my password. So I'm giving it, guys, to try to see here. I'm giving it to reduce the time, guys. I'm saying I know something on my password. Try to guess it. It's not there. So I'll try to see here, maybe. Can you see, guys? password but i know some character of password i've given it so if i know something about password i use it i can get it easily but if i don't know anything it's going to take a longer time because it is what seven character guys and when i give like this how much time so it is only on the second character third character fourth character fifth character and i'm going to try what numbers and alphabets small characters and alphabets so within few time you'll get four characters so maybe within one hour's time i may be seeing the password here so this kind of thing we call it as what brute force trying all possible combination guys we are going to try all possible combination to work with it guys now is a kind of guessing what you're doing guys so somebody 
here i have shown you a software is trying the combination real time many times you have if you have seen in the movie somebody will enter multiple times the password to work with it in that case we will discuss about how this will be working in real time scenario we'll see that next important thing guys you can also use some websites which also gives your password guys the website names guys you can give your suppose you have i know that you are using tp link devices or d link routers or something so i can try your default passwords default password.com and you see here can you see here directly it's telling you what are the default passwords available for different different device most of the time many guys don't reset the default password guys the awareness is not there so here you can see that if you are using 3com this devices or this router you can connect via telnet login name is admin password is none or somebody has a password you can say user password tech tech and this includes for what guys cisco also guys can you see your cisco devices also for cisco devices also you have any router any switch cisco cisco is also available so dealing you have linksys you have tp link for most of the routers you have default passwords most of the cctv cameras you search on the internet you'll get the password for it if somebody has not set the password using default password hacker will try default passwords also so device if i know the ip you're using google hacking i can reach to your devices if they are connected to internet i don't know the password I'm, i can use my password hacking techniques with the help of guessing i can get the password you can also check one website called as router passwords this is dedicated to router passwords only guys you can see here what is the default ip what is the username what is your password guys so routerpasswords.com what are the default ip it's showing you the ip address of the router also what will be the default ip of the router and how to log in to those devices so routerpassword.com there are many websites which gives you the password now on top of it guys we have seen one example that what are the first way somebody can get the password the second option guys somebody can get your password directly from you you are giving the password guys when you are giving the password guys yes guys there is one hacking technique called as shoulder surfing that is shoulder surfing this is a non technical methods i am discussing guys we'll come to the technical methods later on non technical method now without any hacking knowledge somebody can get your password now shoulder surfing means what guys somebody is behind you guys when you are entering some username and password somebody is behind you he can see your password guys so one very simple example when you go to atm guys what we say generally when you go for withdrawal of money most of the time it has been suggested what one person at a time if somebody if you are withdrawing money if somebody comes behind you you can always request him to go out in that case the reason why because how many character password in the atm guys how many character password yes four characters or maybe sometime six also but more or less four characters are available so if when you are typing the pin if somebody is behind you and he sees the keyboard so shoulder surfing is what somebody is behind you so suppose if i take one example here are on the facebook website 
you are entering your email id and now when you enter your password here i'm entering the password can somebody can see my password here guys yes or no is my password is visible to anybody no it is hidden but hacker is not seeing this thing guys hacker is seeing your keyboard what characters you are typing on the keyboard is seeing it so now try to understand here you are putting eight character password you are putting eight character password now if i hack you are using complex password guys you are using complex password eight character password here now if i want to hack your password i require how many combination guys 8 to the power of 72 combination and you try to hack it but now with shoulder surfing i know that you press maybe these are the character you press maybe h o f t z a 1 5 these are the these are the eight characters you use in your password guys now it is not in the proper order you have used these characters so if i try only brute force with this combination will it be much faster guys because now i'm only going to use what 8 to the power of 8 i'm going to say that these are the eight characters was used in the password if i know the order is correct if i don't know the order i can get different different combination of this and get it this will be much easier to hack compared to trying 2 to the power of 72 combination now i need to do what Eight combination. I'm eight to the power of eight combination. I'll try. I can get the password very easily, guys. So shoulder surfing is a biggest problem. What you are going to face in real time, guys. Second important thing, guys. Nowadays, you don't have to be be somebody should not be behind you. Also, guys, why? Somebody is not behind you. Still, he can get your password. How? cameras correct cctv cameras so already in your earlier discussion guys if somebody hacks your cctv camera and when you are typing a password can he zoom on your characters on the keyboard to see what characters you are using it once he zooms it he can get to know what kind of password can be i told you you know that you are entering four characters five characters and then these are the characters you have used it you can do it there was a movie guys if you have seen uh, national treasure in national treasure uh, when the person tried to steal that independence scroll he got inside and he is guessing the password based upon what he got the fingerprint somebody has typed the password on the keyboard he know that these are the character used and based upon that he did the guesswork and was able to get the password in that case so different ways to get the password recently one more thing has come up guys now sometimes somebody says somebody is behind me hackers are working on some technique like recently can you see here now hackers are trying to work on the sound whenever you are typing the password by listing the sound carefully hackers some of the guys who are very much guys they can guess your password also guys because when you enter the keystrokes you can do it if you remember guys older times when everybody used to have a telephone with a dial guys so when somebody dials a phone by hearing the dialing sound you can know which number somebody has dialed the same kind of thing is been developed on the keyboard also but you need to be very much perfect so means i'm trying to tell you what 
the year somebody is not behind you somebody is sitting somewhere in the room and when you're typing something he can easily know what password you are typing so this is how based upon the sound also they are able to find out the detail but for that expertise to be developed guys and there was one incident guys you can search on internet hyderabad shoulder surfing guys Two years back, this was one of the incident, guys. Thirty lakh, they withdraw it from the bank, guys. So here, when you go here, this were the guys. What they used to do? They used to send stand near the ATM. The guys doesn't have any technical knowledge, guys. They used to stand near the ATM, and what they used to do, guys, was. sorry so what they used to do was they were collecting they were taking the cards they were memorizing their cvi numbers guys that's all they were standing behind and memorizing the details of their card they are saying i am from the bank and they were memorizing over 200 card details they memorized it and who had done it guys a group of person they were the dropouts of Eighth and tenth class guys, no technical knowledge, so they were able to do it. And after knowing this debit card and credit card details of somebody, guys, they know the expiry date, CV number, and the credit card. They used to memorize it, and they used to do online transaction. Now many person will ask guys. So here you can see here the history says they are the dropout guys. They were not using guys. What guys? they were the drop out now the question otp they were very intelligent they know that which website don't ask for otp guys so otp is a mainly concept in india guys most of the indian website for security reason ask for otp they were doing transaction on the websites which were there in us and europe those website never ask for otps so they know which are the websites and those website they were doing the transaction guys and how they learn guys via youtube videos guys so they used to make a purchase without otp one time password in that case and this guys you can see here 8 and 10 class student guys they were not they were dropouts they are not doing the schooling properly but they were good enough their memorizing power were good enough they remember that many number of card details and they were able to do the transaction for this of course they got caught but the simple reason here what 30 lakh rupees they were able to do guys that's a simple thing guys 30 lakh that is one very simple thing which will be working in that case yeah so you need to be very careful when you work it and one common mistake you are doing guys if you remember what is the common mistake guys what you are doing related to social engineering what is your common mistake guys so here in your related to sorry shoulder surfing not social engineering shoulder surfing so in your telegram this videos are already shared in the telegram guys you can go through it it will be better for you to understand guys so in my case i have some videos available i'll try to show you that video to give you idea what does this mean guys so here in the group there is one shoulder surfing information guys okay Thing I missed out somewhere. One second, I have it. So 
whenever you are moving guys this is a video i'm talking about guys real time scenario guys this is a very important thing what i'm trying to say here so when you're moving in your train or bus always you are aware guys on your mobile phone guys here is what somebody will be doing guys when you see some of the example here the uh, transport bus somebody is moving around here generally when you're typing you're logging on to that now you see here uh, in this case guys she is using a tab on his uh, and she's trying to log in on the facebook or net banking when she's entering the password there is one person standing there now he's normally looks like that he's watching his mobile guys but he has switched on the camera and is recording all the information and generally when you type your mobile you're going to type the password also guys when you type the password the characters he can directly see somebody so this is a very common way why of which somebody can get your password you should make sure nobody is nearby you in that case Sec second thing there are some chances guys that when you're typing a password somebody pass by you also in this case this guy is passing via that particular location guys but the angle of camera is in such a way that he is recording your password guys when you're typing it he's only moving so this is the angle of the camera you can see that what characters you are typing guys so based upon that somebody can get your so to this kind of thing we call it as what guys shoulder surfing guys shoulder surfing is this is what they will be talking about guys you need to be very careful when you work with real time scenario not only that in the future this meme is going on guys so in the top 100 list the next password can be this also because everybody because i am i need to remember that many number of passwords so i'll put a separate password called as incorrect so this can be a new password also which will be working on guys here and one very important thing guys what somebody will do now what is the next thing social engineering guys social engineering is very much dangerous guys now tell me how i can get your password from you itself what is your way see i have your email ids i have your contact numbers your mobile number now how i can get your password what are the ways phishing is not social engineering that is a very separate part there is a much easier method but you will give me the password without you knowing that you are given the password guys so social engineering is a art of gathering information from you guys now what will happen nowadays one very simple thing suppose you are traveling from hyderabad to mumbai via train or bus or via flight you met somebody in the travel now when you are discussing with him you are getting very friendly it is a long journey in a train and bus so you are trying to discussing you are trying to chit chat with him you need to be very careful when you do chit chat guys now in the discussion you are that guy discuss what is your or what is your name what is your native place where you are staying what you are doing what is your mobile phone which mobile phone you are using when you purchase it which model it is then he asks you uh, what is your uh, star sign you told maybe cancer he say which date which month then further discussion he will be asking you uh, when uh, you completed your graduation when uh, when uh, uh, he saying he is having a pat year what is exactly this means guys he is asking lot of questions to you and you are giving answer to those questions where these answers are used here guys what are these questions and what are the answers guys yes yes krishna pavan said that where are what are these questions if somebody is asking that many questions and you are giving answers to them where this answers and questions have been used guys security questions shohel correct forgot passwords now somebody say try to understand forgot password i told you many guys use their birth date 
so i am an unknown person how i'll get your birth date guys how i got the birth date one very simple thing did i ask you a birth date guys no but still i got the birth date how first thing i asked you your star sign when i asked your star sign i got to know date and month and then i asked what your graduation when you completed your graduation to so base upon your graduation i'll do the further calculation and i'll get the year so i got the birth date also guys so i have your email id i have your contact number i got the birth date maybe you had asked for the pet name also it is possible now somebody may say that nowadays forgot password is not been us there is a mistake guys still gmail also ask sometimes some secret questions security questions have been asked in gmail also so sometimes i and this is practically i've done it guys uh, last year around maybe the same timing may june there was one person who has uh, his uh, gmail account on his phone and by mistake uh, the whole uh, uh, that phone uh, gmail account somebody has configured now he doesn't remember what is his password and his phone got formatted now he want to use he want to get the contact numbers now silly thing was what he was the person who has configured doesn't remember what was the password it was one year back so what i try to do is i try to reset the password multiple times means multiple time i try to do the guess work in that case so he given different different options we try different different password there now silly thing guys i got some secret question from you which you are not aware which can be used for changing your gmail password also guys is gmail is asking secret questions guys i don't think so you will be knowing it is there but when you go on above more than 50 and above try guys then it is asking you gmail is asking after 50 and above try and these are not the question guys your mother's maiden name home town school these are not the questions what gmail is asking guys they are the very simple questions what gmail is asking one important thing the answers you already given to me what is your mobile phone which model it is and when you purchase your mobile phone so i had in a general conversation i got this information you had given it to me and using this there is a chance i can reset your password guys so there are many ways somebody can reset your nowadays you are getting very simple thing you are getting calls guys using calls they will try to get your password guys very simple thing guys so what they do guys in the call they say that i am calling from xyz location i am from maybe uh, i am calling from red bus if you remember i have shown you one particular app guys bomb it up that was to send fake messages guys prank messages guys this is a website guys so i was shown you already already on the day 2 i think that i was i took somebody's number i send you the messages so i use this particular app to send it first and first and important thing guys this app is not to be trusted the simple reason why guys and i think yesterday the message was there the website itself is down currently so uh, the important part is google is not hosting this app you need to go manually and install it so google has found some suspicious thing in the app that's why it is not been available on google guys so if you are going to use it you need to be very careful because your data can be at the risk guys now second important thing if you got thousands of otp you got thousands of it otp here there's an option called as sms plus i give somebody a number that guy will receive that many number of otp messages guys so now in the otp you will get from red bus you will get from make my trip you will get flipkart all of them in between you will get a call from somebody and that guy will say i'm calling from red bus and we are facing that your account is been getting attack i want to block it now to block it you need to change the password so kindly give the details 
the mother's maiden name another thing to reset your password so by talking with you somebody can get the detail and reset your password guys this type of something we call it as what guys wishing attack guys voice calling guys wishing wishing is somebody will call you and try to get the details from you guys and i'd also share one of the example guys in the wishing guys there is one picture guys in the group you can see around december 6 there's a picture guys this is a whatsapp message you will be getting it guys and after whatsapp message you will also get one audio so when you plot the Play that particular play that particular audio guys that guy will insist you what so instead of making a call he'll say that you have won a lottery in kbc and you are it is a whatsapp lottery you need to call this number on whatsapp why whatsapp you need to make a call and to claim your prize you are the winner you need to claim the prize after calling it you will get the money why is focusing more on the whatsapp guys why saying don't call me directly on this number directly call me on the whatsapp what is the reason guys yes you should be aware of this kind of fraud that's why i'm telling you guys why one very simple thing guys no not whatsapp is hackable no can't record is not a problem guys yes uh, suprita you, your correct answer in that case the simple thing try to understand what these guys fraud guys are doing guys nowadays is simple thing they activate they'll purchase one sim card give that sim card to some normal person maybe a labor they purchase the sim card on some xyz person name so they give the money they take a card using id proof they give it to the concerned person in that case so their details are not available after that guys what what they are going to do guys they activate the same number on other person's whatsapp so my the person who has a normal the laborers or some the guys from the weaker section they have the mobile number but the whatsapp is activated on some xyz mobile number guys so this guys will activate the same number whatsapp on something and using that he will do it so once if somebody finds he, some fraud happens and somebody try to track him they will never be in caught guys they will never be caught in that case and currently this is on the higher end side guys and one very simple thing guys these frauds are happening very largely guys very largely these frauds are happening guys so what you can do is simple thing you can check over the internet now there is most of the crowds because i'm uh, working with the cyber police in hyderabad here so when i'm getting in touch with them nowadays this otp frauds are happening lot of them guys so how otp frauds work guys generally many guys say how net banking will happen without otp hacker will get otp from you only and many guys are giving it guys how what is the matter guys so one very simple thing guys i think you should search in the group call as jam tara yeah sorry okay this is a video guys this video talks many thing about it you will get a call from somebody how exactly the operation happens they are calling from some xyz bank guys they are saying you are going to they are offering some free trips or something they, many guys time they say they got a call website is only via phone guys now it's a call center you get a call they ask all the details you have won everything whom you are going to go with there are the questions they got it guys 
This is social engineering what they are doing. Now they say that to get to allow this offer, you need to give your birth date. Now they had sent some code. Technically, this code is your OTP, guys, not the inter. They use a different word to tell them. So here they are saying it is a OTP. They don't say instead of OTP. They are saying that you got you will receive some code. The moment by mistake you give the code to somebody, the transaction will be happening, guys. The transaction will be happening here, and the amount what is there on the bank is being transferred in that case. In that case. And most of the crime guys related to this OTPs, financial fraud, they are linked to a particular district called as Jamtara. Jamtara is in Jharkhand, guys, where this is there. And that is a whole web series, guys. Nowadays, everybody is in lockdown, guys. So you can check on the internet. This uh, Jamtara Netflix, uh, Netflix is available. You can go through it, work with it. If it is not, somebody say, Netflix is not available. I'm showing you hacking also in telegram guys you search in the telegram also you have installed it search for Netflix Movies you will able to see it. there's a group and then you will able to see all the episodes of that are available there So telegram is also used for illegal things guys all movies and all Netflix and other things are available There guys here yeah. that is possible so nowadays, one important thing, guys, whenever you're doing any transaction, if you're going to receive the money, guys, whenever you're going to receive the money, you never have to give any OTP, guys. If somebody say, I want to transfer a money to you. You'll receive a code. That code you give, then the transaction will be completed. It is fooling you, guys. So these awareness videos have been shared by the police also, guys. These awareness videos have been shared by the police also so you should be seeing it to work with it this is the video guys so here when you take an example in this case whenever you get a call they ask you should receive it technically these are the example they show you how it will be done that's why many guys are not aware of it guys they'll tell you this is xyz code they will not call it as otp in that case so the guys who are not aware they are more interested if somebody is giving you some prize money if they create a kind of emergency to wait for it in that case so you need to make sure that receive so these are the banks are offering many videos and you should never tell your secret details guys so here whenever somebody asks you any question you have to be very careful what details you should give what details you should not be giving it guys so there are many awareness videos are available you go through it recently i'll tell you guys nowadays very famous thing is what guys your uh, olx frauds in olx fraud they say that uh, they are selling some particular recently i was there they were selling some uh, car to somebody and to sell the car they shown picture everything on the olx they say you send me around three thousand rupees and then you do the blocking of the car then i'll do the payment so they paid three thousand rupees and now they are uh, trying to reach him not reachable in that case so many frauds are happening related to that so you should make sure you should never reveal the information anywhere so these all videos are there you need to go through it to understand how exactly this kind of frauds are happening guys in that case now coming to a little bit on the technical guys the technical part of the otp means how somebody can technically hack, hack you one very simple thing is Suppose your friend comes to your house and he wants to browse internet. So he says that kindly give me your laptop. I want to browse it. A very common mistake what everybody does guys nowadays. What is a common mistake guys? What do you do on your laptop guys? You have a personal laptop. A 
very common mistake is what you save your passwords on your computer guys you save password the save password can be extracted from your computer directly within few seconds i can get the password here so you have one very simple example suppose this is your facebook password so your friend you are given it he will start from a b c so when he give a particular character he can see the list here when he select it automatically the password will be coming guys now suppose my password is this password is there it is not visible you can say right click inspect element and in inspect element here you can see type equal to password when i click here and say text can you see here will also able to see the password here now somebody may say is it possible on the banking password guys banking websites is the same concept will work on banking website also like online sbh is it possible see facebook gmail they are https website guys https website if the password is saved within fraction of second it can be possible so if you are talking about online banking website it would not be possible why because view source option or inspect element will not be working right click option is not been working there guys if i show you here online sbi i try to log in here Suppose you have something here already saved, and I say test password. Some password is available here. So when you try to give right click here, you can see the option, guys. Right click is not allowed, guys. Right click itself is not allowed, guys. But you have one option called as add-ons, guys. Like yesterday we seen one proxy add-on. So you have one more add-on called as show my password within fraction of second guys there is one add on called as show my password this one i'll install on my browser there are many are there i most probably use this one because it shows you many things so now it is there available you can see the idea here now i am on sbi website i put a cursor here i click on this link guys can you see the password here guys so add ons are also available where it is not possible to convert it still i can see your password guys so never what is the first rule guys never give your laptop to somebody if you are using save password you are saving everything on your computer then never because within fraction of second he can remove password from your computer guys i have shown you the tools and these are very small tools within fraction of second i can get your password suppose if you need to give your laptop to somebody then always monitor what he is doing guys you need to monitor him carefully in that case so save password can be extracted from your computer guys second important thing guys not only this nowadays you also have some tools available guys there are some tools available so on your d drive you can go to password hacking and you can see browser passwords hacking this password hacking guys yes so you are giving as a service first thing is the first rule you should not give your laptop to somebody if somebody has a physical access he can do everything guys so if i say internet explorer you can see here if some password is stored on your internet explorer it will be displayed currently nothing is there now what i'll do guys i'll open my internet explorer and maybe i enter some password any website suppose redev.com
so this website is opening once the website opens it is irrespective of any browser guys i say test at the rate test.com and you enter test one two three four i say login generally here you give the password what yes so now if you have given yes in this internet explorer and now if you use i password view guys you can see here username and password guys what you have saved is extracted and it will show you all the list whatever password you have saved everything from the registry it can extract it irrespective of http https all password will be visible guys so previously was a targeted somebody was targeting one password using that now i'm doing what guys using the application i can get all the password directly but for that i require what physical access to the computer guys if i have physical access to your computer when i run this application it is possible you also have one more thing guys now somebody say i am not using internet explorer i am using firefox so you have password for firefox chrome opera on top of it guys i don't know which browser you are using then what i'll do i'll directly use web browser password this will give you password from all of them guys whatever passwords are saved all will be displayed guys yeah is showing internet explorer same way if you are having if you have saved the password in firefox also sorry i am on the i am not on the facebook it was my virtual page say login is not updated that's the reason is asking me to update it but when i say save password here and if i refresh here can you see here firefox mozilla which version and you can see email address and password here so anything you use on your computer guys i run that application you will get the password we'll discuss a little bit more in detail that without i doing this when you give a laptop to somebody how somebody can do it you can also get passwords from the application also yes you can see that we'll see that in your tomorrow's discussion that how exactly you can see the password in the applications there are some software where you have saved the password they can be retrieved very easily guys so now one question guys somebody say i never give my laptop see if you have a pub, uh, a public laptop is a very dangerous thing public means is a public computer many guys are accessing it you never save the password but if you have a public google chrome also possible mr muntahir it is possible for that's why the last option irrespective of the browser it will show you all the passwords wherever you have saved the password so simple option is what don't save the password key logger is a different thing mr manish we'll discuss when we come to the malware part so key logger is also a way to get the password but totally different so mobile passwords also possible but what i'm trying to tell you here is when we discuss mobile hacking we'll discuss related to mobile passwords also so one very simple thing if you are saving if your personal computer is there you are saving all the password the first logic don't give your laptop to somebody if you don't give it your password cannot be leaked guys if you give it within fraction of second he can extract your password guys and in the future when we discuss malware guys i'll show you that i a person will only give you usb once that usb you connect on your laptop it will take we call as usb stealer guys it will extract all the save password from the browsers everywhere from the computer it will put in the usb again you give the usb back to the person he got all your password 
so currently i am showing you what you are allowing somebody to access your computer he can get it now next time what when we discuss malware i'll show you what no, you have not given laptop to somebody somebody has given you a usb you connect the usb that will steal the information and give it to the hacker in that case so saving password is a dangerous thing guys you you are using complex password everything but the biggest mistake you are doing is what saving of password so don't suggest you to save the password now hackers are one step ahead guys they will not ask for your laptop now they'll do what guys they'll steal your laptop so nowadays many robberies are happening for the laptop stealing now somebody say if somebody steal my laptop or stole my laptop what will be the problem yes can he access your data guys if he stole your laptop yes or no yes guys krishna mayudin mantahir no somebody may say i put my operating system password guys see to log in inside my computer and extract my detail i have a os password available guys tomorrow's discussion is the same guys if somebody stole your laptop already passwords have been stored in your login your windows 7 windows 10 you have a login you put a normal password then you get inside so if he get inside then only he can extract this password with the password which are saved so the first restriction is the os password how somebody can get your os password guys how we can bypass your os how we can get inside your os that is what we are going to discuss in your tomorrow session here so of course a kind of a os so you can how to bypass it how to reset it so for that you need to understand what what is the mechanism windows password is working guys so generally tell me guys where your passwords are technically available suppose you say windows windows passwords are available where they where they are located guys where your passwords are located in your machine registry not the case when you talk about the browser password yes i'm talking about os passwords sam file your operating system file passwords are stored in one file called as sam windows passwords are stored in a file called as sam that is security accounts manager all windows passwords whatever username and passwords are created on i'm talking about stand alone machine i'm not talking about active directory guys stand alone machine your personal computers all passwords are stored in your sam file windows system config you have windows system 32 config in there this is a sample you can note down this location guys a very important location windows system 32 config in which you have sample guys this is where all your passwords are been stored guys So now means usernames and password they are stored. But if somebody knows this file, can they open it and see the file, the password, guys? Yes or no? All my username and passwords are stored here, so they can go there and open it. Your passwords are protected, guys. The file is protected, guys. So within the Windows, if you try to open it, it will not allow you. Not only that. a very important thing guys now comes a very important part hash all passwords are stored in hash format guys your password is not stored in a clear text they are stored in hash format guys so hash tell me what is hash and what is encrypted Mr. Chandu, encryption is different. Hash is different, guys. Till now, you both, all of you are assuming what 
when you learn it is not a cipher text that's why cipher text is encrypted guys no adding a junk data no 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 of course the guys till now everybody was thinking what when you go for your cca uh, particular ccna part guys when you say enable secret when you say enable secret guys uh something different mr sohel i'll discuss about it so try to understand when you say enable secret of your router you got some value till ccna level everybody was talking about what it is an encrypted password technically it is a hash every location your password is stored in hash hash means what what is the difference between hash and encryption hash is one way mathematical function guys is one way mathematical function means what 2 plus 2 you got a answer 4 guys but how i got 4 reversing is not possible guys hash is one way output guys is one way mathematical function 2 plus 2 you got 4 but how i got 4 it can be 3 plus 1 4 plus 0 different guys. so reversing is not possible when you talk about hash guys reversing is not possible when you use encryption guys when you use encryption encryption means what when you encrypt the data decryption is possible i had already shown you one particular website guys you can go through this for your understanding of encryption when i use one website called as encipher it just to understand guys it is nothing related to it we discuss is a cipher text so i'm going to show you here how the cipher text look like Just slow so when i use this website guys try to understand how encryption works Suppose this is my data. Hello. Suppose I want to send this data to you. So when I say hello and I say encrypt, there is a password. I'll encrypt it. So you can see here, this is the encrypted data, guys. But now, encryption means what? Reversing is possible. So when I send this message to you, you put in the website and you say decrypt now. When you enter the password, correct password, again you can get my original data. What message I want to send you? So this is called as encryption and decryption, guys. Hashing, the second part, reversing is not possible, guys. In hashing, reversing will not be possible in that case. So tomorrow I'm going to show you that how somebody can because all passwords are stored in hash how somebody will try to get inside a windows machine without password guys and then we'll be also talking about online cracking dictionary based cracking rainbow tables so tomorrow discussion you'll learn most of the technical part of your password hacking and we'll also discuss about phishing also how phishing happens that also we are going to discuss in your tomorrow session guys so any queries or question guys related to today's session hope you are learning new things guys you are enjoying the session guys so now tomorrow we are going to discuss this if you have any queries or something you can do it uh, the material has been sent to everybody guys your telegram group has been shared to everybody so make sure what uh, you join it and try to learn as much you can you need to practice more to work with it of course here it is to understanding the behavior once you understand it you will be working on it 
Mr. Manish, you have been sent the link for the Telegram on the email. Using that link, you need to join because it's been sent to everybody. So you have registered it, so you will be also receiving it in that Telegram group. Okay. So here I'm ending my session today. Tomorrow we'll continue with password hacking, different types of password hacking. And then most probably on Saturday, we'll be talking about some other things. Assessment is nothing but your lab, Mr. Sai. Simple thing is what your lab manual in your Zoom app, you have a lab manual available. Using that lab manual, you try to practice this. And very important thing, I'll tell you maybe some website, you try to find out some details on it. That what are the things you can do in that case? I don't have Instagram link, guys. There's only Telegram link, no Instagram link, guys. Okay. See you guys. Have a nice day.